happy. I kissed mm, my head. You're awake. How about that? Whoa, easy <laughs> there, easy. You've been out cold a couple of days now. Why don't you just relax a second? Get your bearings. Let's see what the damage is. How about your name? Can you tell me your name? Uh, yeah. Well, it's not Curry, I'll tell you that. It's Gabriel. Or Gabriel, if you can't pronounce it. Gabriel, Gabriel, you know, I'll get, I'll get it from both people. It's Gabriel. I can't say it's what I'd have picked for you, but if that's your name, that's your name. I'm Doc Mitchell. Welcome to Good Springs. Now, Good Springs. I hope you don't mind, but I had to go rooting around there in your noggin to pull all the bits of lead out. I take pride in my needlework, but you'd better tell me if I left anything out of place. All right, let's see that. What? What's that the damage? Do? You made me white. Okay, just a second. Let's. We, we can fix this. There we go. Yeah, Doc, you did a pretty good job. All right. Well, I got most of it right anyway. Stuff that mattered. Okay. No sense keeping you in bed anymore. Let's see if we can get you on your feet. Good. Why don't you walk down to the end of the room? Over by that vigor tester machine there. Take it slow now. It ain't a race. You're serious, aren't you? It's like, here is Frontier Medicine. Vigor Tester Vitomatic. So Go ahead and give the Vigor Tester a try. We'll learn right quick if you got back all your faculties. <sighs> You're serious. I mean, I have to give you some credit. You are a surgeon. You did manage to pull bullets out of your head, but... Really? A literal parlor trick is your evaluation tool. All right, fine, I guess. Now, stepping out of character, who exactly is Gabriel? He is young, let's start with that. He's, you know, barely more than 18, 20, somewhere in there, he doesn't exactly know. And he desperately wants to be taken seriously. He does have some skills to back it up. He's incredibly intelligent, of course. He's not too charismatic. He has a tendency to blurt things out that he really shouldn't. And he's not too... He, he's not too... He's a bit frail. How about that? Yeah. He's about... He's a bit below average strength. Decent perception. And do I put the last point into agility or luck? That is the question. Let's put it into luck. Look at that. Maybe them bullets done your brain some good. Well, we know your vitals are good. But that don't mean them bullets didn't leave you nuttered in a bighorn or dropping. What do you say you take a seat in my couch and we go through a couple of questions? See if your dogs are still barking. Nuttier than a big horner dropping. What a charming little colloquialism to describe my mental state. Thank you so very much. All right. I'm going to say a word. I want you to say the first thing that comes to mind. Dog. Cat? House. Uh, shelter, I guess. What's the point of this exactly, Doc? Night. Uh... Yeah, sleep. Bandit. Vaporize. Yeah, that's one I can agree on. The best action for any bandit is to leave him a pile of ashes so that he'll never never bother anyone else. Light. And as a bonus, it lets you uh, leave a warning for those around you. It's like, hey, see that ash pile? That's the, what, that's the last guy who tried to rob us. Oh, so, sorry, I've missed the prompt. Uh, light. Let's go for Flash, I guess. Mother. Uh, none of these things really work for me. Let's go for Cookie Jar. 
Okay. Now I got a few statements. I want you to tell me how much they sound like something you'd say. First one. Conflict just ain't in my nature. Well, you know, I agree with that. Like, when possible, I'd like to avoid fighting. If only because it means that I get shot less. Now, if I have a minion, say, who I could say, go shoot that guy, I don't have a problem with that, yeah. I ain't given to relying on others for support. Oh, disagree. Disagree strongly. Like, I want minions, I want employees, I want a caravan, and that means that other people will have to do the work for me. I'm always fixing to be the center of attention. Well, you know, I, I guess there's nothing wrong with being the center of attention. Yeah, that, I mean, yeah, that, that's nice. So long as it's not when people are shooting at you. I'm slow to embrace new ideas. Strongly disagree. It's like, new ideas includes energy weapons. And let's be honest, energy weapons are the coolest thing ever. And besides, I mean, any merc can have a gun. It's like, that's boring. Energy weapons, now that is a, that's a mark of distinction. That says, I'm not just your average everyday merc. I am somebody with skills and intelligence. Yeah, strongly disagree. I charge in to deal with my problems head on. Disagree. Disagree strongly, because when you charge in, that means you're not paying attention, and that means that people are going to be shooting at you before you're shooting them. Almost done here. What do you say you have a look at this? Tell me what you see. Uh, a bit of paper with ink on it? I go, no really, it's uh, an oozing wound, I guess. Okay, how about this one? Looks kind of like a violin. Last one. Uh, I have no idea. Let's say a bearded man, like a nice big beard, two eyes, a mouth. Yeah, bearded man. Well, that's all she wrote. I don't have nothing to compare it to, so maybe you'd better just have a look at the results. See if it all seems right to you. Well, that's pretty close. But no, we're not doing explosive. We're doing barter, energy weapons, and science. And the reason for this is pretty clear. Stepping out of character again, is that normally my skill setup would be lockpick, guns, and repair. Because those are usually the most things. Maybe, maybe swap in speech. But I've done like three or four characters like that and they've all had almost this exact loadout. So we're doing something different. We're starting with energy weapons. We're seeing how well this can carry us. You'll notice also that the tag skills aren't advancing. That's because I've changed the settings in Project Nevada so that your tag no longer provides a bonus, but it does increase the rate at which you, at which you increase the skills, like it was in Fallout 1 and Fallout 2. Before I turn you loose, I need one more thing from you. I got a form for you to fill out so I can get a sense of your medical history. Just a formality. Ain't like I expect to find you got a family history of getting shot in the head. No, I don't think I, I don't think you'd find that either. Now, we have two choices. I'm going to be gifting myself the Wild Wasteland trait because I enjoy it and I don't want it to take up a trait slot. That leaves us two more to pick from. Now, one of those I think has got to be gifted because it's an amazing perk. It makes you receive skills at a slightly slower rate, but it gets you an extra seven special, which means I can actually tweak Gabriel a bit more. <laughs> Even I'm doing it now, it's Gabriel. And to balance out the loss of skills, I think we're going to take either, yeah, Skilled sounds like a good thing. It's either skilled or small frame. Actually, small frame seems like it'd be a bit more in character. Yeah, a tiny guy who wants his minions to do the work. Yeah, I could be tempted into doing small frame. Now then, did that actually increase my agility? No, it didn't. Ah, well. So then, let's tweak up our agility a bit more and our charisma a bit more. 
and let's bring endurance and strength up to the average at least and bring endurance up to six yeah that will work all right i guess that about does it come with me i'll see you out all right doc so here's my question you basically saved my life right you i don't know did you dig me up but yeah you basically made it so that i'm alive now and the question that's coming to mind to me is how much am, are you going to charge me? How much do I owe you? It's like, I might be a bit of a bastard, but I do pay my debts. How much is yours? Here, these are yours. Was all you had on you when you was brought in. I hope you don't mind, but I gave the note a look. I thought it might help me find a next of kin, but it was just something about a platinum chip. Well, if you're heading back out there, you ought to have this. They call it a Pip-Boy. I grew up in one of them vaults they made before the war. We all got one. Ain't much use to me now, but you might want such a thing after what you've been through. I know what it's like having something taken from you. And put this on, too, so the locals don't pick on you for lacking modesty. Never was much my style, anyway. That's it? No, here's your bill, 500 caps. Here's your bill, indentured servitude. I mean, thanks, I guess, but I still feel like I owe you something. Uh, don't mention it. It's what I'm here for. You should talk to Sunny Smiles before you leave town. She can help you learn to fend for yourself in the desert. She'll likely be at the saloon. I reckon some of the other folks at the saloon might be able to help you out, too. And the metal fella, Victor, who pulled you out of your grave. Anyway, you ever get hurt out there, you come right back. I'll fix you up. But try not to get killed anymore. Try not to get killed anymore, he says. Oh, no, I plan to go run out and put, you know, put my face against somebody else's gun and say, pull the trigger. No, I will do my very best not to die. So, a pit boy, huh? Well, seems interesting. Yeah, this could be a very useful thing. It's got a map function. All right. Now, stepping out of character once more, we're going to find some place and dump all of the pre-order pack stuff in there. Because I enjoy starting out with nothing. And now when I say start out with nothing, you'll notice there's a little crate here that isn't normally there in the base game. That's because I have a world of pain installed. And this little starter box gives you a number of weapons to start you out because a world of pain is much more brutal and painful than the base game. Now I could just say nothing because each of these other things start you out with, you know, armor and weapons and, and repair skills and I don't exactly like that but there is one thing that I do like because it doesn't actually affect how well I kill things it doesn't affect my skills it doesn't affect what I have all it does is give me an extra 500 carry weight which I do like because it means I spend less time faffing about with my inventory there we go now we're ready let's step out into the Mojave. Ow! Okay, I get the feeling I might have been in there for a few days. Ow, ow. Oh, hello. What did he say? Yeah, I need to go talk to the metal fella, Victor, right? Howdy, partner! Might I say you're looking fit as a fiddle? I suppose, given that the given the events of the, of the past few days, yeah, fiddle-ish. I am fit as a fiddle. The doctor said you're the one who dug me out, right? Is that right? Don't mention it. I'm always ready to lend a helping hand to a stranger in need. All right, but how did you know I was there? I was out for a stroll that night when I heard the commotion up the old bone orchard. Saw what looked like a bunch of bad eggs, so I laid low. Once they'd run off, 
I dug you up to see if you were still kicking. Turns out you were. So I hauled you off to the dock right quick. And you know who they were? Can't say that I'm familiar with the rascals. Some of the fine folks in town might be able to help you out with that. Okay. And this might seem like a personal question, but what exactly are you? I've never seen a robot like you before. I've seen, you know, protectrons and handies and sentry bots, but uh, you're like a TV with legs. What are you? I'm a Securitron. Robco Security Model 2060B. If you ever see any of my brothers, tell them Victor says howdy. Are all of them as chatty as you? Because I'm going to be honest, that, that, that might get kind of annoying. Um, no, 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 let's not annoy the armed metal robot who basically saved our life. It's like, m much as I hate it, I do owe a, ro a debt to the robot as well. So, what is a, how do you say it, Securitron 2060B? What what is it? What are you doing in Good Springs? I moseyed into town oh, 10, 15 years ago. Before that, I, um, I can't quite seem to recall. Odd. Anyway, it's a right peaceful town, and I reckon it's as fine a place to settle as any. I suppose. All right. Thanks, Victor. Happy trails. Happy trails. <laughs> Am I going to turn into a cowboy just by being here? Actually, maybe that maybe that's not a bad idea. It's like, they might take me more seriously if I adapt an accent, you know. Howdy. Oh, oh no, that, that, that is going to absolutely destroy me. I, I can't. I cannot do that. Hello? You have a nice hat, sir. Howdy. What can Easy Pete do for you? I don't know. I just wanted to admire your hat. Uh, oh, yes. Hi. Introductions. I'm Gabriel de, de, de la Cruz. Um, I got shot a few days ago. You might know that about me. Did you see the people who attacked me? The one in the fancy suit seemed to be calling the shots. That's as much as I know. Other folks in town might know more. Word of advice, though. If you ever catch up with him... Watch out. The man's got cold eyes like a snake. Can't be trusted, I'd say. Gee, do you really think so? Oh, here's the man who shot me in the flipping head. I was thinking I'd go off for tea and crumpets with him. Don't trust the guy who shot me. Of course, of course I'm not going to do that. Uh, and you are Easy Pete, apparently. Why exactly Easy Pete? Was a prospector until I decided to settle here to get away from the NCR. Now, we'll just take it easy and help out with the Brahmin and Bighorners. So, you're Easy Pete because you're retired. What were you before you retired? Were you, were you Hard Pete? M medium Well Done Pete? A prospector, like digging for gold? Nah, nah. Means I poke through old buildings looking for working tech and such. Some folks just call it salvaging, but never like the term. Way I see it, salvage means it's broken, near worthless. Me, I look for the good stuff. Guns, chems, spare parts. Good money in it. Hmm, I can, I can respect that. I mean, I guess the goods I sell have to come from somewhere. Normally, I prefer to, you know, know, know my know my supplier, but, I mean, that's a good, as good as anything. Did you ever find, ever find anything good? Nope. Had a pretty good claim once, way out east by the river, but got run off by raiders. Eventually got too old to keep going out. All right. And you said you keep big corners? What are those for? Meat and hide, mostly. Can't put a pack on them. They just lay down until you take it off. Can find a bunch of wild ones high up in the hills, but gotta be careful around them. They can put up a decent fight if cornered. All right. And the robot, do you know anything about him? The machine? Harmless, no matter what Trudy says. She thinks it's hiding something, but I think it's just a broken down relic with no place to be. 
<laughs> yeah, I guess you'd know about that, wouldn't you? You sound like you don't like the NCR. Now, I'm from the NCR. So, choose your words wisely, old man. Don't get me wrong. The NCR's got a lot of decent folk in it. It's just that they make you part of them whether you like it or not. Towns like Good Springs and Prim don't stay independent for long. Not if you've got something the NCR wants. Still, the NCR keeps the Legion away. Now, 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 be fair. They do give you a choice whether you're annexed or not. But... Legion? What, what, what's the Legion? They're slavers. Led by a guy named Caesar. Or Kaisar. Not sure how you're supposed to say it. A couple of years ago, they tried to take over Hoover Dam. But the NCR beat them back. The NCR didn't or couldn't finish the job, though. The Legion's got its strength back and is getting ready for another round at the dam. My money's still on the NCR winning, but you never know. We've been hearing stories about Legionaries on the Nevada side of the river, so keep a gun handy. You don't want to get caught by them. Oh, of course it would. Of course, an evil army of flavors would arrive on, like, on the day I get, I get my start. Oh, of course. I mean, I didn't have enough problems getting with getting shot in the head. Now I have to contend with a bunch of slavers. Why, why does everyone care about Hoover Dam? The dam powers a lot of New Vegas. And then there's all that clean water lying in Lake Mead, too. Anybody who owns the dam owns the territory. Ah, uh, that makes sense, I suppose. All right. Thank you, Easy Pete. Keep your gun handy if you go poking around some of the abandoned places around here, like the schoolhouse. Critters move in there sometimes. All uh, right, I suppose that's good to know. I mean, I don't want to get some armor first before I go poking around anywhere. Just, I mean, at least some stuff, right? All right, the Prospector Saloon. Cheyenne, stay. Don't worry, she won't bite unless I tell her to. Well, tell her not to bite me. You're gonna have a pile of ashes begging for your scraps. Um. Oh, you're you're Sunny Smiles. You're the person I'm supposed to ask for help. Okay, okay, Gabriel. Don't threaten the people who you want to help you. Yeah, Doc Mitchell said you could teach me to survive in the desert. Yeah, I guess there's a thing or two I could show you. Sounds like you need all the help you can get after what they done to you. Meet me outside, behind the saloon. It's not brain damage. Un unless brain damage will get you to take more pity on me. Yes, yes, it's it's brain damage. Now, all right. See the sarsaparilla bottles on the fence there? Take this and try to hit a couple of them. Wait. Lesson one is shooting. I I, I know how to shoot a gun. It's like you, you point at the person you don't like, you pull the trigger, they, they die. Although that, I, I, I will admit that was some poor trigger discipline just, just now. That's the right idea. Look down the sight. What do you think I was doing? Start crouching down and staying still. It'll help your aim. Are you sure you're the one teaching me? It's like every time I do something, then you say, oh yeah, do that. Nice shot. Well, that's a start, but I don't reckon you came to me to learn to fight sarsaparilla bottles. Tell you what, I gotta go chase geckos away from my water supply anyway. Darn critters are attracted to it. Why don't you come along? Okay, I suppose. Why not? It's like, if you're gonna teach me what to do, if you want some help, I guess I can do that, sure. Follow me. It's just down to the southeast a short ways. All right. I mean, like I said, I do owe this town a debt. Maybe I owe the doctor and the robot a debt, maybe not the town collectively. I mean, the town collectively did not save my life. It was just the robot on the dock. And now I guess I owe you a debt too, because you are helping me survive. But, uh, yeah. Still, it's, it's a job at least, you know, a, Maybe at the end of the, she's giving me a gun and, and some bullets. Maybe at the end of the, maybe at the end of this, she'll give me some money as well. What was that? Hear that up on the ridge behind me there? We got some geckos to clear out. 
Bunch of little monsters is what they are. Seems like Doc Mitchell treats more gecko bites than anything else. Let's see if we can get a little closer. If we move quietly, we can get the jump on them. More likely to hit something vital that way. I suppose, but... Do, do I have to use this gun? I mean, I don't mind guns. I'm not afraid of them or anything like that. But they just seem so primitive. Okay, I mean, you're on. Go give them hell. It's like, yeah, I could fling a pile of lead at supersonic speeds, or I could melt them with the pile with the power of light. Oh, or I could miss horribly. You know what I just realized? The doc only gave me six bullets for this laser pistol. I just wasted 66% of my ammo killing geckos. Which means that I actually do need to use the bloody, the bloody varmint rifle. All right, Sunny Smiles. Sunny? Sunny. I see how it is. You make me do all the work. You can see you sent back you're getting here. Getting hang of it. There's two more wells that still need clearing. You want? You can come along. It'd be worth a few caps to me. Uh, well, it's not really something worth my worth worth my considerable talents. But it's a few caps, so sure, I'll come with you. Shouldn't take more than a couple minutes, especially with two of us. Come with me. All right then. So there's well number one. The question then becomes, where is well number two? Ah, there we are. Critical stuff. Ah! You know what? I take back what I said about you making me do all the work. I mean, yeah, I, I killed one, but you killed two. So yeah, thanks for basically doing the work there. Fantastic. I get paid cap for being a bodyguard. Yeah. That's a good job as a... Oh, you're going that way. Yeah. Oh, somebody's in trouble. Somebody is not, in fact, in trouble. I'm feeling a bit superfluous right now. Holy moly. If you hadn't come here like you done, I'd be a goner for sure. I, I came don't know, it's like you handled water, it. But here, you should have what I got. You look thirsty. I'm accepted. I didn't do a darn thing there. It's like, I'm not gonna argue if people want to treat me like a savior. Yeah. Now, you mentioned some caps a second ago. Now, that was some good work. Even got a little exciting there at the end. Here's a little spending money for the trouble. One more thing I wanted to show you. Thought I might teach you about living off the land and making useful things for yourself. Interested? Now you're just determined to keep me in your debt, aren't you? All right, sure, I guess it couldn't hurt. All right then. We'll need a couple ingredients to get started. Gonna want some Xander root and a Brock flower. Let me think now. I know I've seen Brock flowers growing up at the graveyard, and I seem to remember there being Xander root over by the schoolhouse. Bring those on back to me, and we'll get cooking. All right, Xander root and Brock flower. But before we do that, though, I think we need to go bring these gecko hides over to the grocery store we passed in the center of town and see about getting me some armor and hopefully some more ammo for this laser pistol. Because, yeah, two energy cells is not going to cut it. Here we are. The Good Springs General Store. Fantastic. Hello, sir. My name is Gabriel. I'm a mercenary. And I need work. You must be the one Doc Mitchell was patching up. The way I heard it, I didn't think you'd be walking out of that office. I've got plenty of supplies for sale. Even got some weapon mods and special ammo. Well worth the caps, if you ask me. If you're hurting for caps, I've also got boxes of surplus ammo in the miscellaneous section. They're not great, but you get what you pay for. Well, 
what makes the surplus ammo so bad? Because what I really need right now is tons of ammo. It's all about quantity over quality. Trouble is, you'll be cleaning and fixing your gun a lot more than usual when you use those kind of bullets. All right. And what about the weapon mods and special ammo? Weapon mods are things like silencers, scopes, bigger magazines. Special ammo includes things like armor-piercing bullets, which don't hurt the target as much, but let you punch through armor easier. There's also hollow point bullets, which have the opposite effect. You can kill unarmored targets easier, but they don't do shit against armor. All right. Well, show me what you have for sale. Can do. All right. Let's see. We got a plasma pistol for about twice as much money as I have. Leather armor again for about twice as much uh, twice as much money as I have. Some drugs. And let's see. Uh, okay, so for, for for about four times as much as I have. Uh, yeah, I'm. I get. I get the feeling I might be a bit poor right now. Well, if I were to sell you some of these eggs and this water she gave me, I still wouldn't have enough for either the ammo or the or the armor. Uh, this could be a problem. Well, give me the caps at least. Another satisfied customer. Yeah, satisfied, that's the word. Uh, do you know anything about the people who attacked me? The leader was a New Vegas type. Typical city boy. He had a bunch of great cons with him, probably hired guns. The great cons normally stay in their own territory way up northwest, on account of them being enemies with the NCR. Okay. Tell me about these great cons. Like, if, if they're the bodyguards, they're the kinds they have to kill. They're tough sons of bitches. Mean, but not crazy. They'll leave you alone unless you got something they want. The great cons deal in illegal chems. There's a good chance that most chems you come across were made by great cons. Okay, but is there even a concept of illegal chems out here? It's like, who's rendering them illegal? Is, is it the NCR? I thought they weren't out here. Whatever, it's not a question worth asking. So, have you been to New Vegas before? Twice. Both times I drank a lot of liquor and lost most of my caps at the card tables. In that order, now that I think about it. If you ever get to New Vegas, be sure to visit Gamora. It's the best casino in the city. You won't regret it. Word of advice, behave. Between the NCR military police and Mr. House's robots, you don't want to be causing trouble on the strip. All right. Mr. House's robots, huh? I'm afraid I don't know much myself. Mr. House has got his own casino, Lucky 38, but nobody goes in or out except his robots. The other casinos follow Mr. House's rules, so I guess that makes him the leader of New Vegas. As far as I know, nobody's ever laid eyes on the guy. I think that robot who pulled you out of the dirt belongs to Mr. House. If Mr. House is looking after you, it's got to be a good thing, right? You know, you think so? But here's the thing, if people are looking after you, it's because they want something you have. And if you don't give it to them, or if you stop having it, they have no reason to keep caring for you. And in fact, might very strenuously stop caring for you in the opposite direction. Take it easy now. All right, no armor and no ammo. That is unfortunate. But at least the graveyard's plenty close. And I do have this. It's like, yeah, that's that's fantastic. A little BB gun. Oh. Oh, it's you. So primitive. No flash, no pizzazz, no melting, just noise. Not that good of a noise either. Of course, there's blow flies. Okay, that's one down. Would you like to hold still, please? Okay, hold still. Darn you. Okay. This would be the pit boy thing that old guy told me about. Yeah, 
Yeah, that's very good. Oh, okay, don't shoot. Damn it. Darn it. Yeah, that's very convenient. Also, I've got blood all over myself. Yeah, that's, that's hardly a good look. Oh, there, there's another one. Yay. Okay, then. Which of these graves... What was that? A distinctive cigarette butt. Hello. That's interesting. So this is where they were going to kill me, huh? It's kind of a sobering thought, that. Hello? What are you? You found a limited edition Mojave Landmark Snow Globe. These rare, pre-war artifacts are widely considered to be useless baubles, but rumor has it some collectors will pay dearly for them. Well, I suppose if somebody's paying for it, I might as well pick it up. And then I just have to hold on to it for however long it takes me to find the guy. No, really. She sent me... Ah, there are the flowers. There, just past my grave. I was going to say, I don't see a darn flower anywhere. All right, then. So that just means we have to go back towards the schoolhouse, he said. Yeah, and in the schoolhouse we should be able to find some Xander root. Wait a minute. What's Victor doing over there? Like, in a, in a second, schoolhouse. I'm gonna have to invest... Something wants to be dead. Oh. Easy Pete did say something about uh, vermin moving in near the schoolhouse, so. Easy enough. Better if I had some. Ow! Note to self don't die to menaces because it is the single most embarrassing way to die, and you will never live it down. So, Victor. Is this your place? I mean, you're standing for the door. Howdy, partner. Howdy. Can you even fit inside that door? I mean, don't get me wrong. You, you have very broad shoulders. Yeah, that's better than saying you're a really fat robot. Yeah. I'm not sure you can even get in here. So, in theory, if, yes, if some energy cells went missing, and some fusion batteries, yes, if some things went missing, he'd have no way of knowing. And if, furthermore, I happened to borrow his bed, I mean, would he even care? He's a robot. He doesn't sleep. From what I've heard, nobody really takes care of him. Howdy, partner. So, by extension, nobody's using this house. Which means that I can use it. Yeah. Okay, base of operations established. Fantastic. Ah. That'll be what she wanted, is Xanderoot. All right then, do we want to poke around the schoolhouse? Yeah, I think we should. Okay then, got more mantises. Which shouldn't be a threat. Oh, that you're still alive, okay. Yeah, okay. Problem solved. Victor... Gabriel the Fist. Yeah, I like that name. And some more money, fantastic. Programmer's Digest. 
and a locked safe and a locked terminal. Well, I found that magazines generally have at least a little bit of advice on how to hack that. Real quick. I do have at Oh, I'm I'm one off. Okay, that's that's just not cricket. Um can we boost that without using the magazine? Alright, I guess we must. Alright then, should be pretty simple to hack this open. There we go. So what all do you have in here? Disengage the lock. Well, we have <laughs> Mentats. The exact thing I needed to get in there without using the magazine. And a book on cybernetic surgery. That's interesting. And some more money. Fantastic. So now, let's quickly strip this schoolhouse dry. So we can't get anything else out of here. And then we'll go talk to Sunny Smiles. Oh! Hello. A bloody journal page. What's that say, I wonder? Da -da 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 -da. Okay, so... Willie Wharton, a carpenter from California, came here and started doing work for Dean Edgecombe. And his last entry is talking about Casadors, the North Road, Poison, and a Flash Something Green. So... The question that immediately comes to mind to me is... Where's the body? It's like... You would think that, uh... If Casador's got him... Then he'd still be here. I don't know, maybe it's just me. Alright then. Back to Sunny Smiles we go to make some of that mysterious stuff she calls healing powder. Sonny! You said to meet you down by the source. Oh, you're over there. Hey, Sonny, how's it going? I got the stuff. Let me see what you got. Yeah, these will do just fine. Just fine. All right now, we're gonna be making something folks on the trail call healing powder. Go on over to that campfire now. Give it a try. All right, we'll give it a shot. Healing powder. One Brock flower, one Xander root. Okay. We'll make one of those. Hey, that's not bad, see? All it takes to make a recipe is the right ingredients and the right know-how. Sometimes it won't be a campfire you need. Might need to do some work on your guns and ammo, maybe. Important thing to get is it's all the same idea. You just need to find the right place to set up shop. Workbench or reloading bench, whatever. Well... I hope that's enough to get you started. I'm heading back now. Hope I didn't miss anything good on the jukebox. Cheyenne would never forgive me. Hey, do me a favor. Trudy, she's the bartender up at the Prospector. Kind of the town mom. She likes to meet newcomers. She'd be cross with me if I didn't ask you to poke your head in and say hi. All right, I suppose I can do that. But first, let's go talk to this Paul Edgecombe or Dean Edgecombe. I forgot their name. Hopefully, they'll be able to give me some tips on... Maybe they'll pay me for this note. Yeah. It's like, go in there, say, hey, I found this thing. Wouldn't you like to know what happened to your old buddy, Willie Wharton? And before we do that, it occurs to me that uh, we picked up a ton of caps while clearing the schoolhouse. And a copy of Salesman's Weekly. So maybe, just maybe, we'll be able to go pick up some more... Pick up some armor for myself, you know, so I'm not entirely naked when I go out, and go out into the wild. There we go. Should be almost exactly enough. Yeah, well, we should have six caps left over, which means we might even be able to go and buy ourselves, yeah, a single energy cell. Woohoo! Well, we're broke, but hey, we have armor for the first time. Hmm. It's a bit road warrior y. But I mean, it's better than latex, is what it is. Or better than fabric, or whatever the vault suit is made out of. Yeah, I'll take it for now. 
Yeah, I'm feeling much more confident about this now. However, we are still broke. So let's go see if we can't, you know, twist the arm of that Paul Edgecombe guy. See about what we can get out of him for that note. Ah, just the man. Welcome to Edgecombe Repair. Need something fixed you can see Dean. I can do some trading with you soon, but waiting for stock right now. Uh, that's fantastic, but actually this is about Billy Wharton. Yeah, I found a note in that old school, and it sounds like he wrote it. Damn, how could we have missed that? Well, it was dark in there, and I guess that could have looked like another piece of trash. We found him dead in there a couple of nights ago, and we've been trying to figure out what the hell happened to him since. Well, the note mentions something about Cassador's ah ow poison. Can I see that? Yeah, Doc said that's what he thought it was. Looks like he was right. Must have been trying to get to New Vegas up the North Road. I told him nothing but death that way. God damn it, I told him. I freaking tell everybody. Don't take the North Road out of here unless you're committing suicide, damn it. Hey, thanks for coming to see me. He seemed a good man for what time I knew him, and it helps a little knowing for sure what happened to him. That old bone orchard's filling up too quick lately. Guess not everybody as lucky as you are having nine lives and all. <laughs> nine lives. I'd settle for two, given I just used one. Yeah. So, I'm sorry about your friend, but, uh, he was working for you, right? Fixing up that old school? Yeah, he showed up and was begging for some work. Trying to get his family out here from back west, he said. Seemed nice enough, so I was giving the young man a hand up and a chance to show me his work ethic. Maybe I'd hire him for some more steady work if he was a go-getter, you know? We'd agreed to start fixing up the place and make it livable. I was going to let him bunk up inside the old place and work for me whenever I had other jobs for him. I thought it was a good deal. Make money from me when I had jobs and get a free place to stay while working with me. Well, if he's dead, and you know, I don't want to speak ill of the dead, but if he's dead, that means you have an opening, right? So, potentially, I could have the same deal? What do you say? Right now, there ain't nothing in there but a lot of junk and a dead man's mattress. You sure you're ready for this? It's going to be a lot of work. Well, I guess you can start by cleaning up the place and hauling off all the rubble, desks, and chairs. Throw them away with anything else you can pick up and keep what you want, of course. That'll give you a better look at that nasty floor. There should be a mop, some mop water, or a Braxo cleaner and detergent in there you can use to scrub the floor. Hopefully it's in decent shape. After you get it all cleaned up, I need you to pick up that old broken terminal and bring it to me. Oh yeah, something else we need. There's some wooden slats in there we need about 15 or so of. They're the long, straight pieces, not the little cut-up pieces of scrap wood, okay? Not that you really need it, but I had a note all wrote down for Billy. See you, friend. All right. There we go. We have some armor. We have some ammo. We have a place to sleep over there in Victor's house. And we have a job. All told, I'd say that's a good start especially considering that you know a day ago I got shot in the head yeah good start